Hello everyone. In the video series Electronic Devices, the devices are presented that I need for repairs and troubleshooting. This video introduces the Hammertech DOS 1102 oscilloscope. The device is available from Amazon for around 200 euro and the link is mentioned in the video description. In this review, the oscilloscope is to be examined with regard to its performance, functional scope, equipment and accessory as well as handling and operation. First, the technical data are given, then a look at the device and the equipment. We will test the functions, test the connection via USB with the PC and finally, we will take a look in the device what means, yes, we will open it. Finally, I will give my brief personal opinion in which application the device has its strengths and where the device has potential for improvement. The video should be of interest to all those who are looking for an inexpensive entry-level oscilloscope and want to get a quick overview in advance of making a purchase. The time is right and let's get started. Technical specification. The oscilloscope has a bandwidth of 110 MHz. There are two signal input channels. It has the functions automatic measurement. It supports math operations and FFT. A USB port can be used for saving images and data files. The oscilloscope is operated with 100 till 240 volts. The dimensions are 301 mm in the length, 152 mm in the height, and 70 mm in the width. The weight is 1.1 kg. The oscilloscope has a 7 inch color display. Right of the display are the menu selection button. On the top right side is the control area. With a multi purpose knob and the buttons for the functions utility, auto set, measure, Acquire and Cursor. Beneath this area is the horizontal control area. Containing the buttons horizontal position, horizontal scale and the horizontal system button. Beneath this area is the vertical control area. with the buttons channel 1, channel 2 and the math button. Lower right side is the trigger control area. It has the trigger level, the trigger menu and the force button. There's a copy button and the probe compensation connection. A USB port for saving files on a stick. Let's have a look on the rear panel. On the top is a handle. Left and right are air vents. There's no ventilation. It has an AC power input jack. Some footstools for adjust the tilt angle of the oscilloscope and a USB port to transfer data when connect PC to the oscilloscope. We will test this function in a moment. Equipment. There are two probes. There is a screwdriver and a manual for probe compensation.
One Quick Guide in English. One CD containing the PC software and the USB driver. One USB cable for the connection oscilloscope PC. For the first start, connect the power cord and press the on button. The self-check is started. The boot logo appears. And the oscilloscope is ready. Before using the scope for the first time, it is important to make a probe compensation. The probe is connected to channel 1. Connect the probe to the compensation connection. Use the delivered screwdriver of the accessories to calibrate the BNC connector of the probe. The over and under compensation is shown on the display. Now the compensation is correct. Let's have a look to the function buttons and press the first button utility. The function menu opens. The positions can be chosen with the multi-function buttons. Different languages can be chosen. Let's keep English here. The key lock button locks the oscilloscope. The device now ignores further inputs. To unlock the device, press the menu and force buttons in the trigger sections three times. Now the device is unlocked again. Device changes the USB connection for PC rear and USB stick front side. About shows the actual software version. Now select display. Backlight changes the brightness of the display. Reticule changes the reticule appearance. Menu time specifies the length of the time after which a window in the display is closed. Now select Adjust. To obtain most accurate measurement values, the device can be self-calibrated. Remove the probes and press Self-Calibration. The oscilloscope is calibrated. This process takes some seconds. The default button resets the device to the factory settings. The last option in adjust is probe check. Connect the probe to the BNC connector. and press the probe channel button. The probe is measured. And the result is good. We calibrated the probe well in the previous step. We switch to the section save. The device can save different types, waveforms, configuration and images. We start with configuration and setting one. When pressing save, setting one is saved. Now we change the parameter for the signal and press save again. Now let us load the saved configuration. Setting 1 is selected. Setting 1 is loaded now. Setting 2 is loaded for comparison. The old configuration is restored. In the next step we want to save images on the USB stick. The USB stick is plugged and the USB symbol appears in the upper right display. 
After pressing save, the file name here BMP and O can be set. After setting the file name, return is clicked. The saving to the USB stick takes some seconds. Saving can also be done using the shortcut key copy. A file name here BMP1 is selected and return is clicked. The BMP1 file is saved on the USB stick. Data can also be saved as TXT or CSV files for evaluations on the USB stick. Select waveform external as the storage and txt as the file format. Press the shortcut button copy to save. Data o.txt is selected as the file name. The image should also be saved as a CSV file. For this, CSV is chosen. The shortcut copy button is pressed. A file name is chosen and the CSV file is written to the USB stick. On the USB stick, the files BMPO and BMP1 can be chosen. The files can be opened and edited as bitmaps on the PC. The data were also saved as CSV and TXT files and can be opened with the text editor. You can see 10,000 data entries. You can see the difference in voltage and time. Let's close the windows. The auto set button quickly sets the oscilloscope parameters back to their default values. The run stop button freezes images and enables them again. The trigger must be deactivated for this. The measure function. Period, frequency and amplitude are selected for channel 1. The oscilloscope provides a total of 30 parameters for auto measurement. By pressing the show button and selecting channel 1, all 30 parameters for channel 1 are displayed. There is no signal at channel 2, so there are no values on channel 2. The selected parameters can be deselected individually for the selected channel 1 with the remove function. Alternatively, all parameters can be quickly removed with the remove all function. The acquire function. The sample mode is standard and displays evenly spaced data points. 
The peak detect mode emphasizes outlying data points. The average mode shows each point averaged over the last n captures. With type, the representation can be selected as vector or dot. With persistence, the display duration for the vectors or dots is set. In XY mode, you can display lesser use figures. The persistence is set to 5 seconds. A line is created parallel to the x-axis. Now the second channel 2 is switched on. The xy mode is selected again. The result is a straight line with a rise. The vertical gain of channel 1 and 2 are set to the same values. Now a straight line is created at an angle of 45 degrees. The cursor function is used to measure voltage and time. You can select time, time and voltage, and auto cursor and voltage again. The measurement lines can be changed with the multi-purpose knob. The change between the measuring lines takes place with the parameter line. Line A selects the first, line B the second and line AB selects both lines. The result is displayed in the lower left box. Now the type time is selected. The first line is chosen and positioned. It. And the second line B selected and the process repeated. With AB, both lines can be moved at the same time. In the time and voltage type mode, four line pairs for time and voltage can be positioned simultaneously. The auto cursor mode is similar to time voltage. In contrast, the oscilloscope chooses which value is measured first. Of course, a measurement can only be carried out if a probe is connected. The trigger menu button selects the trigger system. The trigger level rotary knob sets the trigger voltage. Single monitors one channel for triggering and alternate monitors both channels. A distinction is made between edge and video for the trigger signal. When selected video, you can choose between the different video formats NTSC, PAL and CCAM. The trigger signal distinguishes between auto, normal and single. Coupling is supported for DC and AC. A rising or falling edge can be selected. Hold off defines a dead phase during trigger time. Time is reset with hold of reset. Force generates a trigger signal in normal and single modes. With the math function, mathematical operations can be applied to the signal. Another signal is required for the test. Two signals from channel 1 and channel 2 are aligned with one another. The math function is opened by pressing the grey math button. A third signal is generated on the display. The signal is the sum of channel 1 and channel 2. Total because the plus symbol is selected under sign. The minus operation is chosen, a straight line is created at zero point. The other operations, multiplications and divisions are tested. The top signal changes. 
A great feature is that when you press the button, the default position is set. The type FFT fast for real transformation is tested. The two input signals from channel 1 and channel 2 are shown on the time axis in the upper display. In the lower display the signal from channel 1 in the frequency domain. The math mode is exited by pressing the math button. The channel 2 is deactivated. The channel 1 signal is automatically aligned by pressing position button. The oscilloscope is connected to the PC with the USB cable. The USB port is on the back. The software has already been installed on the Surface Pro 3 notebook. For a USB connection, the USB port in the oscilloscope must be selected via utility. Here, PC is set. The software will start. A continuous data stream is selected in the communication menu with continue data download. The signal from the oscilloscope is displayed in the software. As soon as the display of the signal on the oscilloscope is changed, the display in the software changes. The signal can be further processed on the PC with additional software. Now we take a look inside the device. There are four screws to loosen. Two screws are in the lower area. The two other screws under the handle. Now the back can be removed carefully. The circuit is viewed up close. On the left is the back of the knobs and buttons. In addition, the processor and the integrated chips for signal processing and display. The oscilloscope does not have a fan and some of the ICs have heat sinks. The quartz for the microprocessor is visible. The power supply is located on the right. A voltage of 5.5 volts is generated from 110 or 220 volts. The LCD display is located below the circuit board. The USB port for connection to the oscilloscope is visible. The device is screwed back on. Advantages The oscilloscope is handy, light and easy to use. It looks valuable and the design is optical well done. Mathematical operations, lesser use figures and FFT are supported. Disadvantages and potential for improvement. Images can only be saved in bitmap format. The software is a pure display software. Additional software is required for a deeper analysis of data. A fan would be useful for permanent and long term operation. Personal Opinion The Handmatech DOS 1102 is an inexpensive space-saving oscilloscope for the amateur that has all the important and necessary basic functions of a digital oscilloscope. I use this regularly in my private life to analyze 
digital and analog signals. Hours of continuous operation is not provided for and therefore I do not need a fan. I also do not process any data on the PC, therefore the function for saving data is also not required. Overall, I am positively surprised and very satisfied with the device. I have not regretted buying it and I would buy it again. And that's it for today. In the video description there is a link for the oscilloscope. If you have any other questions, write me in the comments. I would be happy about a like if you were interested in the video. Subscribe to my channel so that you don't miss my new videos. Until then, take care and see you next time.